So today we're gonna review SJ Cam C300 and where is that tiny little 4k action camera? Right here! SJ Cam C300 it is super duper tiny weighing only 31 grams so it is super cute but it still has 1.3 inch display which is definitely big enough for you to see what's going on. The great thing about C300 is that it does come with another replaceable battery with a display. So when you take out this 1000 mAh battery and replace it with 2800 mAh battery which can in theory last up to 6 hours if you're taking at 1080p then you have the display at the front as well as at the back with the longer lasting battery. battery I realized that there's definitely something to hold so you can actually go on selfie mode like what I'm doing right now there is a universal adapter hole so you can also make use of the selfie stick this lens is already 158 degrees FOV so it is wide enough but with the selfie stick because it can easily go onto the universal mount hole so convenient you get super duper wide angle like what you have right now the great thing about this double display is that you can actually switch the monitor while you're filming and with this longer battery you do get two displays so you can actually switch back and forth and it's very easy to do so in the menu the great thing about the dual display in SJ Cam C300 is that while you're filming you can actually switch the LCD around so at first I can film myself in selfie and in the same video clip I can turn the LCD around and film in the direction of me walking so this should really help with editing process and so on and how's the stabilization like because Right now, the 6-axis gyroscope stabilization is on. This universal adapter hole, super convenient because it can actually just go on to any mount, like what I have here if I go riding bicycle. This is cool. And if you want to go for more discreet option, then there is definitely a black color for C300. So don't forget to pick that up in the link down below. So let's go riding. One interesting thing I noticed about in this setup with 2800 mAh battery on is that to switch on, you can't actually press the back button. You need to press the front button. But after it is switched on, you can of course use the back or front button for recording, shooting, etc, finish recording and even switching off the camera. For action lovers out there, this tiny little setup which still is stuck on the string on my neck for safety and it can easily go on to all these mounts that are included in the box. And the design of the mount is such that there is a little gap for you to have the string still attached. So in case of any emergency, this camera is totally safe. With this back clip, I can have the camera on the shoulder strap of my backpack. It allows me to go completely hands-free. And of course, in the box, there is what you can put on your helmet as well. And there is also another mount in the box, which means I can actually have it on the bike like this super duper nice and for a more hardcore action you do also have frame mount in the box so it will definitely be very safe while you do some extreme action now one more mount to get you guys go underwater up to 30 meters and the button is super simple here i need to switch it on press one long for switching on even underwater and i'm ready to go
Okay, I should actually really go snorkeling, but as you guys can see, I'm wearing a thick jacket. It's still very, very cold. So you have to just take a little bit of imagination and you should be able to take this C300 onto your snorkeling trip in the summer and everything is included in the box. Quickly, what's inside the box? The camera, the extra battery with the display, four different mounts, two curved and flat mount, base mount with screw, two 3M stickers, USB cable, manual, sticker, wipe cloth. And to recap the mounts, first the back clip, base back clip, and the frame mount for extreme action, and waterproof case to let you go down under 30 meters underwater. The display menus are all very intuitive. It's very easy to navigate. You can change resolution, for example, and at 1080p, it goes all the way to 120 frames per second. And you can change many different settings. And also inside the camera setting, just be careful not to press the format button, which I have done. So just be a little careful. And at the home button, you can change from video to photo. These are some of the photos that I've taken. And you can also go to different menus such as live broadcast, car mode for looping videos and the slow recording. And for video lapse, you can record the change of time like what I have done here, although nothing much was moving except the waves in the sea. And what I like about SJ Cam C300 is that so many of the mounts, especially that goes on to backpack, to the helmet, the waterproof case up to 30 meters underwater, they are included inside the box. So you don't have to spend any additional extra amount of money once you get the box and with the additional display to help you vlog etc so i hope you guys find it useful to see actual footage that i've taken with c300 and if you want more information about the price the package etc then please don't forget to use the link down below and i'll come back with other interesting gadget review see you